All right, uh, these fell into my lap the other day, so I wanted to see uh, uh, which ones I should keep, if there's any that I need to throw away. Um, these are what's called semi-rigid. Uh, I would say this, these are flexible, so these, these, these don't count. These are the normal, this is like RG174, and this is some other, some other, oh, it's got writing on it. All right, all right, let's look at the writing here. Uh, this one says it's Pasternak, and it's RG180, RG180 from Pasternak. So yeah, nice, nice Pasternak crimped connector on the end, but it's just a uh, pigtail on that end. So, but that's a keeper. Uh, and like I said, this is like a 174. I doubt that this is even, even marked. It kind of looks Chinesey, uh, but they're okay. Well, the connectors don't look Chinesey though. Uh, these look these look like high high quality connectors. So, yeah, this one was probably purchased for good money. Okay, so but these are different. These are what's called semi rigid, and uh, there's a couple different varieties here. So it's kind of interesting. So rigid ones look more like this one. This one is rigid. So this one is rigid, um, and it is like. Uh, the plumbing in your house. It's actually a seamless soldered uh, Like a tin soldered uh, Copper pipe and inside the pipe is an insulator and then a center conductor, but it's a solid smooth pipe and uh, Makes it hard to Fashion and hard to bend. So these are generally bend once, leave them alone kind of kind of things, okay? Um, so don't know what this came out of, but it's like nice in, in that it will be the 100% the shield that you won't have any air gaps. So uh, the cheap uh, cables, you can actually see the weave in them and they're not as good as cover of, of, of an RF. They're not as, they ha will have a little bit more DB attenuation. But these are very smooth and very, very good. And then they're soldered on. So, yeah, this was, um, I don't see any manufacturer's mark, but uh, this is kind of the holy grail for the best. But again, you, you can't you can't flex these very often or they'll, or they'll break. So if you have one, one particular setup that you're just going to set and forget, uh, the, the rigid, rigid uh, uh, coax is the way to go. Uh, let's see. Okay, so these are all semi-rigid. Now some, um, let's see here, let's kind of separate these into two groups. This group and this group. Okay, so this group is the one I'm mostly familiar with. It is uh, a, a tin lead solder over copper braid. Um, and the tin lead soldering makes them the semi-rigid part, I think. Um, and, but there's a very, very fine weave to the, uh, to the braid. So, and once again, they're soldered on. Uh, so yeah, these look pretty nice. Let's see, these, these seem to be all the same. All right. I always found it interesting too, that uh, some of the connectors will have uh, part brass and part stainless steel, um, which is, I don't know, I just find it interesting. Uh, why you would choose them differently. It could be that the, the brass is easy to solder onto and then the uh, stainless steel is wear resistant. So, and can be torqued to a higher spec. If you look at the um, torque specifications for something like um, SMA, these are, these are SMA. There's a torque specification for brass and for stainless steel. And uh, so, yeah, so those will go together. This one's kind of the oddball. Uh, looks nice. This is a nice length. Now this is by rfcoax.com. So again, somebody paid good money for this. Um, S141MMHF-12. All right. So that one's nice. Now these I'm not as familiar with. Um, these are... I would not call these necessarily semi-rigid. These are more flexible, but they have a foil wrap around the braid. 
Now I don't know if there's braid in there as well, or it's just the foil wrap. Um, like is it on top of itself or it's probably just the wrap if I had to guess. Um, like I said, I'm not real familiar with these. They look cheap, right? They look like they would be more expensive than the other kind. But again, having that wrap a foil might make the shielding really, really good. Now, one clue might be the connectors that are used, if they're quality or not. So this is um, a 2.9 millimeter connector, so high frequency, right? So this is probably good to at least 26 gigahertz. So yeah, it probably is fancy. Oh, there is writing on it. Here we go, here we go. Oh, this is Pasternak as well. So Pasternak, Pasternak, uh, and what type is this? Just giving their address. SLL150, yeah, I probably should look that up. Uh, but yeah, so this is an expensive cable. 2.9, uh, 2.92 millimeters. And here's another one, 2.92 uh, millimeters. And there's a writing on this one. Uh, United Microwave Products, UMP. Microflex, Microflex 165 cable. So again, high frequency. So I guess this foil stuff is actually, you know, I guess it's really good these days. Here's another one that is another Microflex, I think. Looks like the same company. Uh, the lighting, the lighting isn't quite right on it, but I believe it's the same. It's kind of worn off. Can't really read that one. And uh, so United Microwave. It has that weird yellow stripe in it, right? So that one, that one, and that one all have the weird, the weird, the weird stripe. This one says Pasternak. This one says United Microwave. Same cable, just different printing on it. And uh, this one I can't read, but. I don't know. Yeah, and then this one is not. This one, oh, it is marked. They're all marked. I take it all back. United Microwave. United Microwave. And this must be United Microwave because look at the uh, look at the connectors on the end. And this one is Pasternak. Okay, so problem solved. And then the one rigid one. So yeah, okay. The weather. They're all keepers except for uh, except for this one that has a pigtails, but I'll put it in the bin. It is nice quality, so if you want to hardwire this into a into some type of test fixture, that might be nice. And this one here is just these are just kind of a dime a dozen. Uh, a lot of these laying around. All right, uh, I'm going to test these cables since I've got a fancy cable tester. So let's uh, start out with the with the hard line, that one's of most interest to me. Um, and we're doing a, a TDR measurement on it. I did a video on this. And uh, we can see that uh, it is perfect 50 ohms, very, very nice. So that one is a keeper and the uh, uh, connectors are super high quality. There's hardly any any reflection or anything at all at the uh, at the connector site. Um, so let's go to the next one here. This is the uh, United Microwave. I would imagine really good too. Yeah, it looks. Oops, sorry, my camera handles in the way. Yeah, it looks perfect. Don't even need to tighten it down because it is already good to go. All right. Okay, let's test this one. A 
once again, perfect. There's no connector, no connector bounce or anything on it. Very, very nice. All right. Anyway, you don't need to watch all of these. I'll let you know if there's any, uh, any failures in the bunch. All right. Um, I did find one interesting little artifact here. Let's take a look at that. I think you can see that better now. All right, so uh, we have a really nice smooth transition and then a little blip. That little blip is this right angle business, okay? So if I... If I take the uh, test cable and I'm going to plug it on with the right angle first, okay? And so let's go ahead and pop that on. All right. So you see it right there? So there's a little blip. That little right angle bend causes that little blip. And uh, let's see here. We can, we can zoom in on that. Um, so let's see here. Uh, we can go make it five. Yeah, so you can see we're coming along here at 50 ohms, and then we're a little blip there to 60 ohms, and then we're, we're, we're good to go along the other way. So uh, that little right angle does cause a little blip, but in a lot of circumstances, that, that's totally acceptable and no, no problem at all. But all the cables seem to check out just fine, and they're super high quality. Um, we'll go ahead and test this uh, last one here, which is the real cheapy one that I kind of bad mouthed. Um, so <laughs> we'll let it redeem. We'll let it redeem itself. It's got right angle connectors, so we should see a little bump on that one too. Yeah, see, it's much worse. It's much much worse. Um, so anyway, yeah, it's just a cheapy little connector. Um, it does have uh, stainless steel parts on it, though, which is nice, but um, the other ones are almost no transition at all on, on the really good Pasternak's in the United Microwaves.